Cool. Peace. Kian here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my studio. Uh, welcome back to the Tone Shack. So today I'm going to do another um, guitar love video. Another guitar uh, run through of one of the beautiful guitars that I've been fortunate to um, work hard for all my life to buy and to own and to use in my in my home studio uh, for my music and for working with others, other people for producing their music as well. So remember, if you like what you see on this channel, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the notifications bell, and you'll get to know when there's more content ready for you to watch. So, so today, we're looking at my Gibson SG 1961 reissue uh, with a Lyra Vibrola uh, tremolo unit on it, beautiful, um, and all things 1960s. So let's get to it. A Gibson SG, beautiful, she's a beauty people All right. she's a beauty okay so this is this is it this is a 1961 um, reissue SG in cherry red um, it's the only one you can have really isn't it um, <laughs> I've always wanted an SG I've always loved them I love the simplicity of them um, I love the weight of them especially as a Gibson player as an as a an, um, a Les Paul owner <laughs> the weight of an SG is beautiful um, I love just the style of the guitar I'm a big George Harrison fan he had this similar guitar of this ilk in 1966 67 I think for the um, revolver album and beyond um, and then you've got the likes of Clapton playing one then you've got um, Dwayne Allman, Dickie Betts, Gary um, Gary Rossington, um, all those guys um, who play the, the SG. Um, then you go up to Angus Young, big influence on me. Then you got Tom Petty, all those guys who have used um, the SG to help them create their art, which is fantastic. So. I've always loved the guitar and I've always wanted one. So I, I was hunting one down and hunting it down um, with a vengeance. Around about 2009, 2010, I decided I wanted to get one. I will talk that one through in another story at some time. Keep tuned for that one. But anyway, back to this one. After I had had the custom shops and I'd sent them back and I wasn't happy with it. I spoke to Tom and said, look, I'm going to leave it. I left it for a couple of years. I sent um, an email over to Gibson and said to them, you know, get back to playing, making some guitars for players. So get back to the classics, get back to playing, you know, guitars or building guitars for people who want to play a prestige brand guitar and, you know, have it. A proper color and some of your history um, so I get I sent them a, a, a very impassioned email uh, and whether they listen to me or not I don't know but a couple of years later maybe 18 months later this came out on the market <clears throat> and it was exactly what I asked them for uh, um, a Vibrola tremolo unit I don't use it very often but I just love the vibe of it um, pair of 57 classic uh, humbuckers and the 1961 dress up with the um, cherry red finish it came out and I was like that's the guitar I want so I bought it for them and it was a B stock guitar this very one was a B stock so it came uh, it was a little bit cheaper still wasn't that cheap but it was a little bit cheaper uh, but it had quite a few dings and dents on it I think there was one here somewhere and there was a couple on the neck but as you'll know from my other videos and the way I talk about music and guitars I'm a live player I play guitars live I record in the studio um, I'm not a collector I play music so if a guitar gets knocked or dented or if it gets worn I'm not bothered because they're instruments they're here to be loved and to be cherished but you know that they're, they're here to be used so I wasn't bothered with that also I had in mind that when I got this guitar, I wanted it to feel like the 1961 custom shops that I'd bought. Because when I got it, it was all slick and lovely and stuff like that. 
but I like guitars that are not slick and lovely. I like guitars that feel good, sound good more more than anything, but they feel good and they play nice because if they play nice and you feel good with them, you'll play better. If that makes sense. So I did what you might think is absolute insanity or absolute madness. I relicked this guitar. I relicked it myself. I beat it up myself. Um, I stripped it down completely, took everything off, took the lacquer right down to the to the stain, um, and then I re-lacquered it with some nitrocellulose, proper nitrocellulose um, lacquer that I got from um, a guitar repair company over here in the UK, uh, Northwest Guitars, which are fantastic. I then rebuilt it, put it back together, and I think it is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I think it's lovely, it's brilliant, and it plays absolutely fantastic. Now, I'll show you some pictures of what I've done to it. Um, if you think it's madness, please let me leave, <laughs> please leave a comment, let me know. If you think it looks great and it sounds, and you know you like it, let me know. Um, I like guitars that play f a feel of like being played in. Uh, as I said before, I'm not a big fan of ultra shiny things. Um, ultra slick, ultra sort of guitar that you pull your hand across and it feels like because it's got so much lacquer sealing the wood and stop it from moving. Um, so I like I like to um, get them so they feel old and they look old. Um, Normally that's done through playing and do, and or I buy a guitar that's been beaten up, um, but I do like the relic look, and I like the relic feel more than anything. Hey, so here we go. So let's get close up and personal with this beautiful guitar. So yeah, so we've got some check in there on the on the on the the body, uh, some arm rash which I've put on uh, and made <laughs> from the relic in. Uh, taking a lot of sheen out of the uh, the lacquer across the whole guitar and made it uh, more a satin finish, which I I, I, I like more. Uh, but it's also in in case with the '60s vibe. Uh, the beautiful vibrola on there uh, didn't do anything to that; just left that to wear as it normally does uh, through age. As the, some of the arm rash that you can see. Now here on the pickups on the pick up covers, that is not me. Um, being uh, a relica, uh, it's not me wrecking it. <laughs> That's just normal wear and tear from playing the guitar. I use twenty pence pieces as um, as plectrums, so that's that's what happens when you use a coin against um, the chrome there. Okay, so the back, um, it's the same. It was stripped right back down and then re uh, nitrosed. Um, the neck had a lot of work done to it. I've purposely taken uh, the neck on that on the treble side down I wanted to change the uh, profile of the neck on that side a little bit uh, to give it a bit more wear nothing drastic just a little bit a little bit more than everywhere else the headstock um, yeah pretty standard um, the the clues on uh, tuning pegs are this of, of what came with it um, the actual knocks on the headstock there on the on the and the mustache they're not relics they're from wear and tear uh, and gig knocks um, and banging around when you're playing in a studio and such okay so this guitar is used mainly for slide um, and I bought this brass nut uh, a long long time ago and I use it on a lot of my guitars if I want to use them for slide all you do is slip it over the nut that is already there so you don't have to change the nut to raise the action to play slide uh, it works really really well and it gives you the option that you can just take it off and take the guitar back to normal. There's the guitar. Okay, cool. So that was the relicking, um, and that's what it looks like. So let's have a listen to what it sounds like. So here's some videos of me using the guitar in my uh, home studio, the Tone Shack, uh, for some of the albums and some of the songs that I've put out to date. So here we go. <laughs>
Okay, cool. So there we go. So that's my Gibson SG61 reissue. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you love the guitar as much as I do. <laughs> do you own an SG? Let me know. Do you love relic -ing guitars or do you not like relic guitars? Please leave some comments and let me know. That'd be fantastic. Thanks for being here. I know you could have been anywhere else in the world right now, but you've chosen to come to my channel and to listen and to watch me talking about my beautiful guitars. <laughs> so remember, if you love anything guitar, if you love listening to new songs and finding new artists, or if you just love coming into a home studio and seeing, seeing how an independent musician is trying to make his way in the music industry, you're always welcome. So thanks for being here. Remember, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications when there's new content coming straight for you. I'll see you again next week and have a great week and keep playing your guitar. Cool, peace.